Okay, so we're going to finish up in this video um, adjusting the uh, scenes with the audio. Okay, so if I play it right now, I'm not sick. When she says, I'm not sick, I want that to be a close up on her. Uh, and right now, it's a close up on this guy. And uh, so what we need to do is grab all of these keyframes and move them all about 30 frames. The close up on her comes in on about frame 31 uh, and it should be at about uh, frame 61. So we need to move all of these keyframes over. So what I'm gonna do is uh, select them all, okay. And uh, I don't want to run over here, but uh, I'm going to drag them all about 30 frames to the right. Okay, and now let's see what that looks like. I'm not sick. Okay. Uh, and so that's looking closer to what I want. Now I feel like their, uh, their move in is just, they, they need to be set. They, they're just continuously moving in, right? I'm it seems a little bit odd to me. So what I want to do is have them get to this point and stay there for a, a, a half second or so. So I'm going to grab these frames, these keyframes. And I'm going to duplicate those beforehand at frame 35. So now they're going to reach that state at frame 35 and stay at that state until frame 60. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not so they pause for just a second before it goes to the close-up. Okay. And now all of this dialogue that you can see with this waveform, that should all be close-up on the female character. So all of these keyframes, I'm going to copy over, I'm going to move over to after she gets done with her line, which uh, isn't that far. I think it's about there, at about frame uh, 130 or so. Let's, let's check that out. Need help. Yeah. Uh, and then it switches to a uh, sort of a close up on the guy. I am who I say I am. Now, uh, we don't need to go back to the shot of our female character. So what I'm going to do is select those keyframes and remove them. Uh, I guess it's called clear keyframe. It's called clear keyframe. So again, I command click to select those frames, right click, and then remove, sorry, clear keyframe on all of those. Okay. Uh, because I don't need that shot anymore. But then uh, also, I want this guy to not uh, to, to, to be the last thing that we see. And additionally, I don't really think that we need him uh, to be a, a, the, the shot right after the female shot. So what I'm going to do is grab the shot of him, command click, and then um, actually not option click, but just drag over to right where his, his line starts. Uh, and... Then I'm going to, oops, I'm going to select these keyframes that I don't need anymore and clear them and drag the wider shot up against the female close up. All right, so now it's changing from the close up to the wide shot, from the wide shot to the male close up. And these are one frame too far away. I'm going to move these 
little bit before he starts speaking. And then uh, lastly, I want want there to be kind of like an eerie zoom in on his face while he's saying, I am who I say I am. Oh, really? You are? Are you? Who knows? Let's uh, take that shot and copy it to the end. And at the end, I'm going to unlock his uh, layer here. I'm going to really zoom in on his, his face. Again, I'm using the Q, using the uh, free transform. Even bigger. Okay, there we go. Okay. And now I might actually readjust this because that, that's going to be quite a zoom in if I if I do it that much. Okay, so now... I am who I say I am. So now it's got that zoom in all the way at the end. And that sets up our entire scene. So I can do a, a preview with command return. And this is what we get. I'm not sick. I don't need help. I am who I say I am.